What is up guys this is NK here back again and you're watching Super Tech League so in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at Havoc OS version 2.3 which is based on Android Pie which is available for most of the smartphones out there so without a further ado let's get started with this guys <laughs> Before starting with the video, I would like to ask you guys if you need a dedicated video on installing this ROM. So here I have MI A2 and it's running Havoc OS version 2.3 and I have been using this ROM for about a week now and you, I was using it as a daily driver and now this ROM has become the favorite of all now. There is literally no bugs known to me if you installed it correct. I came from the stock Android ROM and trust me there is a lot of difference. When I used to play PUBG on stock ROM, I started facing FPS loss gradually. I installed this ROM and now the whole scene is different. On stock ROM I used to play PUBG at the lowest possible settings to get constant FPS. But now I can play PUBG on medium or high too. Here are the benchmarks of stock ROM and Havoc OS and the difference is really big. feeling about this. Enough of that performance section. I'll tell you about the battery now. I hardly got 3 to 4 hours of screen on time on stock room, but now on Havoc OS, I can easily get 5 to 6 hours of screen on time. And after tweaking some settings, you can easily get 7 to 8 hours of screen on time. So, Havoc OS does offer you some unique settings that will allow you to turn off your sensors you don't want to use so that you can save power. That would help you to increase your battery life. This video is getting more of comparison video between stock OS and Havoc OS but I want to tell you the facts and figures that I gathered while testing this ROM. If battery life and performance weren't enough to convince you to install this ROM, I have more to show you just hold on. It's probably the best part of this ROM as you can see already I've changed some things on my phone too. You can change header image from settings and set custom accents too. You can set any color as custom accent which would change colors on your status bar and colors on settings too. There are a variety of header images ready to use according to your taste. Even this ROM has profiles that will change priorities of your apps and will restrict background processes to save battery or better gaming performance. Also you can use the gaming mode which would disable the heads up notifications from disturbing you while playing the games. Animations are something you can change but I like the way it is and I wouldn't mess around with it. Also I like one feature called one sided feature that is very handy to me and I use it all the time. 
There is one more feature I would like to talk about and it is pop-up or floating window. This is very useful for multitasking as you can open several apps and still work on the main window. The list of features won't end here so you can read it yourself. I will leave a link in the description below to the main thread. Make sure to read that and all the features would be listed there. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you did like the video. If you did make sure to hit that like button down below and make sure to subscribe my channel too. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. So this is NK here and I'm signing off. We make the strings louder.